I guess just in general, uh, if you had, and I know you haven't had time to see a whole lot, but you, any players in particular that you've been especially impressed with so far? Today or overall? Over, overall, just since yeah. spring. Um, I think Rashawn's done a really nice job of leading, practicing hard, uh, being the guy that, that's not afraid to put himself out there to make plays and show guys how we have to practice. Uh, he's done a really nice job absorbing the, the package and communicating. So I've been impressed with him. Um, on the back end, you know, I, I think our entire first secondary is doing a really nice job. I think Kosai is doing nice. I really like Reggie. And uh, uh, Rabbit, I think, have done, done a nice job picking things up. And, uh, you know, our corner's doing a nice job. You know, Adrian outside. Uh, <clears throat> Ray Shaw, I think that group is, is in particular has done well. What are you wanting to see on Saturday? Oh. First scrimmage happens, and, and you know you, the ones are actually out there. Yeah. Well, I, I know what's going to happen. We're going to have missed tackles. This is going to be the first time we're going to tackle live. I want our guys running their butts off to the ball. You know, I'd love for us to, you know, go after the football and take the ball away. Uh, it's been a big emphasis for ours. You know, coach's big thing for our plan to win is take three. Uh, we work ta takeaways every day. Uh, if we can force some takeaways, but, but what that does is, you know, because iron sharpens irons, our offense has done a much better job the last couple practices of keeping the ball. So we got to, you know, tackle the ball well, run the ball, and hopefully get some takeaways. You're just a few practices under the belt so far, but have, have they been progressing how you wanted them to so far? You know, as a coach, you always want guys to go a little bit further, but I, I love uh, the way our guys have picked it up, the way that they're putting the time in. Uh, and then going out in the field and, and running hard to the ball. When guys are confused, they don't run hard. And I see our guys run hard to the ball. I've been really impressed. You know, he wasn't out there today. He's a little dinged up. Uh, but the first three practices, he, he's a guy who can be an impact player for us. Uh, the nice thing about him is with his size and athleticism, he can play outside, he can play inside. We're going to have him as a stand-up outside linebacker. He can play a, a four-eye, a three. We're going to move him around. Teams that you know are going to be aware of him and try to double him, they're going to have to find him. I don't know. Probably would be, it would be an un, unfair comparison. But how did Joe use Kayvon to the? Uh, what, what, what does he know about? Well, Kayvon's a guy that uh, you know has a similar uh, skill set, I think, to Tyree. Uh, very explosive guy. Uh, you know, Tyree's longer. Uh, you know, not to exactly compare them, but both of them have really good pass skills and can set an edge. Um, you know, I, I think Tyree can have that kind of an impact in our defense that KT did had in our, in our Oregon defense. Uh, both those guys are really impressive people. So who are some of the younger players that you may not have expected but are stepping up in a different way? Um, you know, Jacob Rodriguez and, and, and Bryce uh, Ramirez, both those guys have really shown up on tape. I've uh, been really impressed with how hard they play. They chase the ball well. They pick things up well. Um, so those guys probably, you know, the guys I, I wasn't expecting much out of have jumped out as much as anybody. And how will what's going on now help you guys in the fall? I mean, are you developing where you expect to be at this time? Putting yeah, in this? I, you know, we, we, what is it today, four or five. five? You know, we're a third of the way through. Uh, we're about where we need to be. You know, we've got probably 80% of our install in. We'll, you know, we want to install for Saturday, but uh, we'll, we'll have a couple more installs next week. Um, you know, I think our guys are, are picking it up pretty well. The thing that's, um, you know, probably a change from what they've done in the past, we, we practice on two fields, so our young guys are getting reps. So we're, you know, we're getting tons and tons of reps. Nobody's just standing on the sidelines watching. So uh, with guys getting dinged up, we're a little thin. I don't know how much longer we'll do that, but I think that's really good for a team to have everybody running the defense so that we can continue to have depth. Commissioning Jacob Rodriguez and Bryce, linebackers obviously, which spots you kind of use? Well, you know, what's nice about both of them, with their athleticism, they can play a couple different spots. And right now, Bryce is an outside and Jacob is an inside. Um, but we talk to our guys all the time about job swapping. And once they understand the packet being interchangeable, we want to get our best 11 on the field. And so you might be an inside linebacker in one package and an outside linebacker in another. You know, Jacob's already doing that some with our with our packages, and uh, you know, the five technique may have to be a three technique. We're going to stem in now different fronts. Now, compared to some of the other staffs that you've been on, how has this staff gelled together so far as far as the defensive staff? 
Well, uh, I, I think Coach McGuire's done an unbelievable job of hiring, number one, great people. You know, they're, they're, they're coaches who care about their kids, uh, who care about them on and off the field, that are going to push them, coach them hard the right way. Uh, and then they're, they're coaches that are really, really bring a wealth of knowledge. So when we get together, it's not me dictating anything. We decide what we do, who our best players are, how do we accentuate those best players. So it's a collaborative effort. And so you know, I hate to compare one to another staff, but, but this staff's as good as any I've been a part of. And I, I like the fact that Coach McGuire's got a defensive background. So, you know, he gives me some perspective, and, 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 and I love that. Uh, of how he sees things, and then when we get competitive periods, he keeps it fair. Kind of building on that, how, is, how involved has McGuire been in the defense with you? Uh, he, he probably is, uh, I describe it as, as obviously the overseer. He gives us the, uh, the big envelope of what he wants done, and then we get to fill in the details. And so the nice thing coming in in our discussions, my philosophy and him mirror up pretty well. And so... Uh, there's not been any, you know, banging heads about anything. You know, it's just he has a certain terminology that he wants us to use, and, and obviously, you know, we'll use that. Uh, but the, the bottom line is, you know, he has a plan to win, and our defense fits that plan to win. Back on the linebackers for a moment, I was like Chris Krishan. He's kind of got returning who has the experience and lost Schooler and lost mm -hmm. Jeffers. When you put the runs in there. Who else besides Krishan is? Well, right now we don't even have a depth chart. You know, Krishan's going with that first group, but we, you know, we, we've got a, a, what we call an organization chart. And guys, we got red one and red two. We got black one and black two. And guys just keep moving so that we get everybody reps. After Saturday, we'll probably synthesize it down to a depth chart. But in, in those first couple of groups, uh, Mimi's been doing a nice job. He's been running with the first group. We've worked Tyreek some in that first group. Um, the guys who have rot rotated in with, with uh, Krishan. Um, Jacob Rodriguez has, has, has worked a little bit with them. So we're, m we're moving guys around. I think D. Lou was in there at times as, as well. Five practices in, where is this team in where you want them to be after five? Yeah, I mean, I think we're heading in the right direction. Uh, you know, clearly we're not where we want to be quite yet. Uh, we got to keep climbing. You know, offensively, uh, we're pretty young, um, and so it, we're, it, a lot of it's just coaching some of the basic stuff to some of these young guys. Um, but they bought into the culture that Coach McGuire brought here, uh, bought into the offense, what we're doing schematically, and uh, we're really on the right trend up. Zach, what, uh, what went into moving uh, Nate forward? Side, yeah, you know, Nate's just a great athlete, a uh, great young man. Uh, just trying to find a way to get him on the field, ultimately. Uh, we, we're, you know, uh, running a lot uh, more than these guys kind of have been in the past a little bit with some of these receiver routes we're doing. Uh, he's fresh legs. Uh, kind of mentioned us, actually, first when I got hired here about maybe moving over or even trying to do a little bit of both. So uh, Nate, Nate came over two days ago and has been uh, doing a really good job so far. How have your uh, quarterbacks look so far? Really good, really good. You know, we're... Uh, Kind of all three of those guys are battling it out, splitting reps evenly. Uh, you know, clearly they all have a little bit certain traits uh, different than each other. Uh, but the room's great. I love that room. They all get along great. Uh, we're a big family in there, and it's kind of really well so far. Coach, uh, who are some of the standout wide receivers that you've seen so far? Yeah, right now I'd say Jaron Bradley uh, is the one that's really uh, impressed me right now. Just, you know, being a young guy, uh, but such a big body receiver. Um, I think it's going to be going to you know, really be good in a couple of years, and he's really on the right track right now as well. Uh, you know, Miles Price, a uh, really good player, uh, caught a really uh, nice play there in practice today. Um, and then, you know, like once again, we got some young guys moving some guys around. You know, we've got you know Xavier White, Darius Townsend, uh, Nehemiah Martinez. Those guys are all out there, and they're kind of moving inside, outside receiver, playing some running back too. Um, you know, Trey Cleveland's coming on, Brady Boyd's coming on, so it's good to really see all those guys uh, get a lot of reps. Um, and continue to get better. Yeah, Coach, you mentioned the quarterbacks having different traits. What are some of those that you look for for the guy that you're going to move? Yeah, I mean, first and foremost, you got to be a leader. Uh, you know, they got to own that locker room and, and want to command that locker room. And, you know, when those guys, when, when that quarterback walks in that locker room, uh, the team's going to know uh, kind of who that guy is. And that's still what we're, we're trying to find right now. Um, and I think all three of those guys absolutely have that trait about them. Uh, but once again, we're five practices in. we got a long way to go, so we're going to keep battling that out. Coach, go ahead. Uh, talking about you know the young team that you you've touched on a, a little bit. What what's kind of the main goal that you guys guys have been focusing on for this Saturday? 
Yeah, you know, just same thing, just the fundamentals and, and the basics. Uh, you know, we've got five installs in. Uh, not going to install any more before the scrimmage, so really try to get those guys sharp and, and just, you know, uh, focusing on the details, the small things, blocking assignments, route assignments, quarterback progressions, uh, running backs hitting the hole the right way, um, you know, pass pro for them as well. So just really the basics and, and continues to try to really just keep climbing uh, in that nature. Who's been some of your vocal leaders so far through these early practices? Yeah, I'd say probably the most, uh, you know, definitely the three quarterbacks have done a really good job. And other than Miles Price and Caleb Rogers, have done a really good job. Are you able to, on Miles, how do you kind of want to use him? Is he going to move around somewhere? He'll move around. He'll move around. We'll put him in a lot of different places, uh, kind of depending on what we're, what we're seeing each week schematically. Uh, you'll probably see him split out wide in the slot, maybe in the backfield some too. Uh, Miles is a great athlete, uh, high football IQ, and we're going to put a lot on his plate. How does this coaching staff come together? Uh, a couple of the coaches are talking about how it, it's Coach McGuire's at a 30,000 foot view and allowing you guys to handle the day to day operations. How is this staff coming together? It's coming together great. Kind of like you said, you know, Coach McGuire, uh, he's the boss. He sets the expectations, and we follow those expectations. Um, but as far as staff goes, it's been great, you know. Uh, I've been a lot of part of a bunch of different staffs where maybe it's offense versus defense, or uh, you know maybe you see these guys uh, in this building, you know, all day every day, and then you never see them outside the building, and it couldn't be any different here. Uh, we're we're full staff camaraderie, going to dinner, meeting each other's families, all outside the building. It's come together great. Uh, so it's been that, that's a huge part of, of success in my opinion too of what we're going to do because we spend a lot of time in that building together. So you better like each other. With the, the three quarterbacks that you have, one A, one B, one C, as you have right now, and you have Nibble, other than that. How are you going to, what are, what are the three main goals that they have to do on Saturday for them to earn the right to get first, first team snaps? Yeah, I mean, you know, so this Saturday in our scrimmage, they're all going to get first team reps. Uh, but ultimately, when we get to September, who's going to be the starter? You know, we're looking for once again, we got to find a leader. You know, who's going to who's going to win us the most games? Um, and then, you know, as far as like the statistics and some of that stuff, we got to be able to move the chains, complete the football, and, uh, and not have turnovers. Those are kind of the biggest things. I'm looking for. Following up on the structure of the scrimmage on Saturday, do you know how many plays you're looking for? I'm not sure. I think we had about a hundred play limit, uh, but I know we're, we're we're fighting through some fatigue and some of those things. So we'll see how that'll change after the game. How do you feel the guys have just been responding to learning the offense so far? I think they're fired up. I think uh, I think we have a lot of energy around here, and I think that's just kind of how we all, how the football program is right now in general. Um, but, you know, we're we're just doing so many different things and uh, playing with some tempo here and there, and just, and just it's it's just different. And I think they feel a lot of energy. And, uh, and passion for the coaching staff as well that we believe in what we're doing on both sides of the ball. And so I think that that just is, is really even exemplified even more for those guys. So what, time for about two more. So would you say that this team has bought in more than any other team that you've dealt with in the past, or is it a different level? Because you're coming in bringing a whole new pattern of everything. Yeah, I think, I think you know, when you look at, you know, we've been here, you know, some of us got hired in early December, but as far as like really being around the kids, because you got to think we were gone all January as well. So you're saying all of February, all of March, you're saying really being together with these kids for two full months. I'd say this is probably the most bought in I've seen a full football team uh, just being on the coaching staff for two months. Can you talk about relationships, you know, off the field, how it leads to success? You talked about the coaching staff. What about what about the offense? How have they been meshing together? The players? Yeah, the players. The players, all players, there. Yeah. It's great. We have a lot of fun once again. Uh, we are, we're out here. We're out here all all day together. We do a lot of uh, walkthroughs and some of those things. Um, once again, I feel like we've got a, a very unselfish football team. Uh, guys just love being around each other. And we have a lot of fun out here when we're together. So uh, it's been a lot of fun so far. Uh, Nick Foley working outside primarily. Or? He, he's 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 been there for two days and he's got reps at both, but primarily outside. All right. Thanks, Thanks coach. Thanks, coach.